Hello team, uh, it's Rich and it's Chris. We're here to uh, have a little look at this wonderful and exciting array of bats on the table from Grey Nichols. It's the 2024 range and we're going to go through a bit of information on it. But first, I thought, oh, I've noticed something I've seen before, ladies and gents, the old power spot. A little something I saw last year and then a lot of new stuff. Oh, fun exciting, and isn't it? funky. It is exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Right, without further ado and some a bit of explanation, except an old friend here from the, <laughs> the Power Spot region. Should we leave that one till last? Okay. Build your excitement oh, up, I think so. Let's do that. Let's jump into the new stuff, shall we? Yes, come on. Um, really exciting. I think uh, Grey Nichols have brought out a uh, brand new range for the brand new season yeah. and haven't disappointed. I'm, a, I'm already a big fan and I think there's lots of fresh opportunities for players who like Grey Nichols or who want to go into it brand yeah. new. Um, to choose from. So we'll jump into the first family, which yep. is the Shockwave. Oh, I love it. Now, by the way, this bat is going to send Shockwaves around the cricket community. And it's a terrible joke, that, but you never know, it might do. You hope it does. Well, absolutely. Yeah, I hope your jokes get a little bit better as we go through this as they, well. They don't. Yeah, no, we'll see. Um, but the Shockwave. Uh, yep. For those of uh, us, you, um, that are fans of Grey Nichols, we'll have probably um, seen this before. Yes. Um, hence the Shockwave 2.0. Yes. So. Uh, it's back, um, but with a real freshness to it. Um, and actually, I think it's been really popular already. We've had this in the shop for a, for a few weeks. Great stickers, um, by the way. Great stickers. Very appealing. Um, and I think that's across the board, but particularly yeah. in the brand new bats. Um, great stickers. Uh, Profile-wise, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's what we probably kind of expect from a grey nickels bat, really, but there's lots of willow going on there. there First thing there. you can see, Middle big of, edges, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, big. And big edges. Sort of quite mid Quite a little bit middle to lower Yeah, down. and I think actually as your profile shape. A little bit um, of a spine there. Definitely. Higher spine that you can see, but it's not really taken out. Um, but lots of wood in behind that, in that middle range. Yeah. Um, when you sort of get in your stance and pick that up, you look down, there's a lot, there's a lot of willow there, which yeah. uh, a lot of players will really like, because actually think that's going to be fairly forgiving. I can hit that ball quite a, quite a lot of places on the blade um, and get full value for that. Um, but the beauty with the grip, go on. It's going to go just a bit of a flatter bottom on that one. Absolutely. It sort of tails in there to that sort of slightly flatter toe. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned the toe guards already, but yeah. um, but that can obviously be uh, added or, or not, as, yeah. as the case may be. Um, but it's going to be a real favourite, I think, already in terms of a pickup. The reason I sort of mentioned the profile against that weight balance ratio, it picks up pretty light. Um, it's usually what that spine gives you, isn't it? Exactly that. And what you, what you want to feel is actually there's a lot of willow in there, but you're not going to feel too heavy in terms of the pickup and, yeah. and detract from your game. So um, the 2.0 is the, uh, is the um, with the black grip. We mentioned new grips. Oh, yes, come on. Good then. spot. So Grey Nichols, as we will see in the range, have got a brand new grip, particularly on most of their bats. Then so uh, the Pro grip. Ah, uh, the Pro. Um, and a nice grip sort of feel to it. So you're a fan of this? I'm a, I'm a fan actually. I like the look of it. I think that sort of enhances a little bit, but actually let's more importantly the feel of it. Yeah. Um, I quite like it. Yeah, it's a nice touch, isn't it? I mean, I've, a, a number of manufacturers are starting to put their, their sort yeah. of the branding on the top of the handle. Now being a coach, I'm going to go, you know, top hand, very important. So sometimes that's going to work for me, sometimes it isn't. I'm just like that. And handle-wise, and again, we see this flow through a lot of the Grey Nichols range, that semi-oval style down the bottom. Um, yeah. uh, handle, which has been in their range now for a good few years. It's something it? that, again, Grey Nichols players will, will have grown accustomed to. There's not a lot different in there in terms of the handle sort of uh, Quite traditional, dimensions. that too, which I guess is part of their And as you say, you're getting it? that front hand working quite, quite nicely for you. Yeah. Um, so the standard uh, Shockwave 2.0 with the black grip, yes. but they give you options. Yeah, come And on. we like it's that. Good. So uh, options uh, we've got here um, the 2.1 with the pink uh, style which is one that really stands out Dust. fantastic you're not going to miss anybody uh, no. walking out to bat with that you're not um, I like it big fan again of the colors I like the brightness there um, it offsets with the version there to give you that choice factor if you want something a little bit brighter um, same profile yeah. same option um, other than one grade option which is the five star light which is what this is and if I just show you, Rich, and the guys, um, the difference here, um, three quarters of an inch off the blade, yeah. but that maintains into the handle. So yeah. we've still got that short handled length overall, yeah. but they've taken that uh, out of the profile, lighter. Just gives you that lightweight feel. Um, it's the Ollie Pope spec, 
perhaps Ollie Pope, one of the, the lead okay. ambassadors. It's his preference, yeah. um, and it's becoming a real sort of thing at the top end of the game now to maintain the wood in the right place, take a bit of light, uh, take a bit of weight out to give you that lightweight pickup, um, slightly longer handle. So not for everyone, but yeah. there's an option there to, to choose from. So in both of those, what would be the sort of the typical weight range? We're looking. Again, with a lot of grey nickels bats, we're looking at around 2.9 to 2.11. Okay. Pretty standard so sort pretty of pretty standard range. in that. Yep. Same in that? Same in that, other than the five star light where we're trying to take that down a little bit to a about 2.7, 2.8. Okay. Yeah. Which are for younger cricketers sort of starting out in uh, adult cricket, um, and I guess even maybe slightly shorter players, who find that useful, they're going to get more wood in that hitting zone. It is quite noticeable though, different handle length, in terms of your own setup, if you'd yes. be quite a, a, a sort of player that's set up in a particular way, you will notice that difference. It might take a bit of a getting used to factor in the nets to, to introduce that change. Yeah, yeah, I th and I think it does. I mean, I know I've had a go with a couple of those and I know I've it's found that a little trickier. And options, we've got a third. Yeah. So the Shockwave 2.3 uh, in the green livery here, which I think is fantastic. Again, you will have seen that again really uh, last year. Yeah. Um, very much uh, the Pakistan uh, international players, uh, well, you will have seen those guys yep. in this. Um, it's there, it's again, the standard profile, shape, um, et cetera, et cetera, of the shockwave, um, but also just in that green color, which I think is really vibrant and, uh, and gives you a great option. So this one's just colorway? This one's just colorway, same as this in terms of your profile. This one's a colorway option, but it does give you a lighter weight version in there if you really want to go lightweight, but you want the shockwave shape, feel, look. O Ollie Pope spec. Ollie Pope spec. We've got um, some top end players, as you'd yeah. imagine in here. So the standard one, we're looking at Harry Brook, yeah. um, Sam Billings, yeah. um, Chris Wokes, so England internationals are who will yeah. be using that. Um, the Ollie Pope spec in the five star light. Yeah. Um, and then obviously we've got the uh, Pakistan guys. We've got the new test captain, Rizwan. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, Masood and, and Rizwan, who's sort of been the, in the sort of three format cricket okay. um, using that as well. So yeah. lots of, uh, lots of, you're going to see lots of those over the course of the next 12 months. I think you are. That looks, uh, looks an exciting range, that one, the shop. Absolutely. Uh, re like I say, really popular so far with feedback in the shop, which, yeah. is, which is always good to hear. Uh, and on to the Tempesta. Yes. Brand new from Grey Nichols for this year. Um, the Tempesta 1.0, they've not had this before. So this is brand new into the range. Mm. Fantastic, uh, exciting option then. So um, looking at the spec, obviously, as you'd imagine, different to the Shockwave. Uh, profile wise, we've got a, a variation there with a nice amount of willow in behind the ball. Yeah. Um, but it's in that middle, middle to low area. So it's going to give you a little bit more choice towards the bottom end of the, uh, of the bat. Yeah. Um, but the weight and the pickup and the balance of that, even though you've got a little bit more wood towards the toe, is still lovely and balanced and actually gives you a sort of fairly nice lightweight pickup in there. Cool. Um, Vibrant, as you would imagine from Grey Nichols in the range, lovely yellow um, uh, decals and, and, and grip. Um, really popular sort of choice over the last sort of 12, 18 months in terms of a, of a colour. So I think this is going to be a really popular choice. Um, sort of into that sort of um, square toe option there, um, which again is a, is a sort of go-to for a lot of players, um, particularly at the top end of the game. Um, a lot of wood in there. So I just think a really nice cricket bat option. Um, offering you something slightly different to the Shockwave with that wood a little bit lower. So if you're looking for a style and a choice there, this one's probably going to be for, for you. Yeah. Um, so Shockwave had a couple of players, had a player in it? Yeah. So um, top end players looking at Zach Crawley. Yeah. So Zach Crawley, I think, will uh, will hopefully score a lot of runs with that. Obviously, very dominant off that front foot. Um, and again, for that game, profile really. should hopefully suit his, suit his game there. A um, lot of county pros. Um, in terms of grey nickels, they actually call this their uh, their real go-to favourite shape and, and style of a lot of their sort of um, ambassadors. So okay. you'll hopefully see a lot see of players using that, that particularly around the international game, but particularly in the county game as well. Okay. Um, you've also, as you would imagine, got a lot of choice and a lot of uh, options to suit. So like the Shockwave, we then go into a couple of different colourways. You've got the 1.1. Uh, which is with this um, lovely blue uh, metallic sort of style look, which uh, gives you that sort of option to, to choose if you wanted like to go colour. into that. It's a, nice it's a lovely colour, I think, actually. Yeah. It really works. Um, Ollie Pope. So Ollie Pope will be jumping into this for the, for the season ahead. Um, and this is his spec of, of bat. So a bit like the Shockwave uh, option in the five-star light, we're taking three quarters of an inch out of the blade 
that's still maintained in the in the handle so you've yeah. still got the short length uh, short handle uh, length of blade and bat um, but actually you are getting a, a slightly sort of longer handle to feel and also therefore can maintain the wood in there but not to a heavy heavy degree so if you like that color it comes in the same profile as the the 1.0 but in a couple of great options, but the five-star light is then the, the Pope spec. So okay. like I say, you've got, you've got options to choose from there. And then again, we've got the Bubba Razam, the yes. 1.3 um, in the Pakistan green, vibrant color, which I think again, fantastic option for, for players. Same profile on this to your 1.0 Tempesta. So gives you that choice factor in terms of a, a colorway. Um, that worked really well over the last sort of 12 months as a, as a style, I suspect again, very popular, particularly with that profile for, for those perhaps more front foot players. Yeah, and what's really cool is that, the, you know, your Grainicles are using their, their ambassadors and, and utilizing the colorways that they want. I think that's brilliant, plus adding, you know, your new ranges in with your new colors anyway. I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, a nice, nice set of colors. Obviously, yeah. grip-wise, oh, yes. it follows through. We've can't, got to talk, we, we can't to ignore the grips. grips, particularly with you, Rich. Yeah. Um, so again, we've got the brand new uh, Pro or the Superlink Pro grip on there um, across the sort of the, the new families of, of range, which I think just works really well. It does, doesn't it? Lots, yeah. of, lots of good options there, like that. So same profile, just different colors and a funky, uh, funky, funky option there. in the light way there. Yeah, and plus, yeah. yeah, that's really lots good. Lots of choice, Tis. lots of choice. Cool, okay. That looks a really good range. I really like that. It's a good, com bit different. I th absolutely. I think good when you look at those as a six, yeah. um, and we've had them obviously on the shelf, looks fantastic. Yeah. You know, a really vibrant range, lots of choice, um, lots of options for, for players. And ultimately what Grey Nichols are trying to do is if you want to go into a Grey Nichols bat, there's a choice factor for you, for you. regardless yeah. of how you like to play, how old you are. Um, your preference on, on style, etc., etc., weight, balance, there's a choice in there for you. Cool. Okay. Right. Looks like we've got the gems next. The gem is the back. Nice the gem. gem is back, the absolutely, nice which is fantastic to see. Um, yep. We've had lots of positive feedback in the, uh, in the shop on the gem range over the last 12, 18 months. So it's great to see it there. It's great to see a freshness to it. So the gem 2.0 which is uh, which is like this the one new here. generation gem a little bit like that that's quite a mouthful though so i like 2.0 i think yeah, that probably right. works a little bit better on, um, but it does the same thing <laughs> um, and ultimately what we're looking at here is uh is a little bit of a lighter pickup for for players um very much uh, orientated towards the female market um lots of female international cricketers and and uh, those aspiring to be uh, professional cricketers in in the range can you list a few i could list a few Come so on, if then. you've uh, if you've watched any female cricket over the last 12 months i'm sure you will have seen sophie dunkley yes i think so alice capsey yeah, maybe lauren winfield oh yes Tammy Beaumont, oh, yeah. and the list goes on. Oh, blind. Um, a it's lot a of, list. a whole host of international oh, players oh, who um, this has been designed in conjunction with. Ooh, um, that's interesting. Lots of players who have fed back into this. The style, the pickup, the feel, where they want the profile to be in terms of what's suiting them, but particularly shape and, and, and feel and balance in terms of what's going to suit them. So, um, fabulous option for, uh, for female cricketers. A really good option as well for those that potentially haven't got as much upper body strength, are yeah. growing through, potentially yeah. those older teens. Um, just a fantastic option in terms of pick up and feel and, and being able to play. Is there any difference between these two? There isn't, other than this is the gem from last year, still yes. available. Um, and obviously you've got the variation on uh, last year's colour, this year's um, stickers, okay. um, but in terms of choice factor for profile and pickup, etc., etc. the same. Oh, see, that's interesting, isn't it? Because I'm looking at that going, that one looks just a little more rounded. That one looks a slightly higher spine, but that must be my... Might be your eyes, but it also by. might be the fact that, again, every, every one of these, uh, is, these is unique yeah. and will have that slight variation. Probably um, one of the reasons we always say if you can pop into a shop to choose your bat, that's always the best way because you spot and see some of those sort of factors. Absolutely. Yeah. And you might like one more than another. Definitely. Ooh. Come on, we've got to talk about these so, two. And then, we, and then we hit the classic range. I'll save that till last because I know you're a man of vintage and generation yeah, yeah, and classic. classic. So uh, let's classic hit the classic bats. range. For those of you that are big fans of Grey Nichols, big fans of them uh, over the years, Years, you'll recognize the classic range from from years uh, gone by it's the same yeah um, we've got a fantastic sort of traditional looking gray nickels uh, style we've got a classic gray nickels um, profile 
um, in terms of the shape. So that nice mid swell point, um, a decent amount of willow in there behind the ball, um, offering sort of best of both worlds, but a lovely lightweight pickup really. So it's, uh, it's one of those that works and therefore is, is maintained um, because it suits a lot of players um, and the style obviously is their sort of heritage look. So um, no change for 24, yeah. um, comes in uh, the five grade options from pro down to sort of 200, can suit sort of uh, budget and level of play. Um, if you like that, but it, it gives you all those options to choose from. So um, pop, very popular every year, really, really popular. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a very neutral shape. So you've got exactly. a little bit of balance, you've got a little bit of high spine, you've got a little bit of thickness of, of, of edges, um, and you've got reasonable balance. So it sits really well in the middle of a, of a good range, which again is why people pick it up and go, oh, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, Slight variation in that the grip on that one hasn't changed. So that is to maintain the grip, yeah. other than the, the brand new, that's maintain the grip from, from previous years, previous years yeah. um, which is your traction or your zigzag, depending on, the, depending on what we go. Let's talk and about then, this one. And then oh. right at the end. David Gower. I think oh, I, think I, I could just let you loose with this. You could, just leave me alone. Absolutely. Oh, it's wonderful. It does remind me of old, olden days. Well, that is exactly what it wants to do. Um, oh, the retro option insane. from Grey Nichols for this year. Look at that. Um, as you can see, the original power spot. Oh, um, the original. With the original sort of, uh, or a nod to the originality of the original Look at bat. that, that was, that is, this is old school. This is what reminds me of the old school days. I think it'll yeah. be really popular because of that, certainly with a, with a certain generation. Oh yeah. Um, clean, classic look. It's got that retro shape. So if we look at it in comparison to the, um, the new range, yeah. slightly uh, narrower and thinner on the, on the edges in yeah. comparison. It's got that retro sort of older style profile. Um, mid to low sort of sweet spot, so yeah. that's offering you more down the, towards the toe. I think I'm going to like that one. Um, so a classic retro profile style uh, sticker. Yeah. Um, going to suit a lot of people, particularly those that remember perhaps the uh, the first. Yeah. Um, be really interesting to sort of have a lot of lot of conversations over over the shop sort of counter with people reminiscing, I suspect. So uh, I think that'd be really popular. Yeah, I think so too. So overall, as a range. It's got, um, we've, got, we've got some differences in, in these two, haven't we? Yep. We've got, obviously, we've got the colourways, the colourway difference. We've got the shorter bat difference. We've got a little bit of, um, you've got the spine and the balance. Got a little bit of cross. Then you've got the gem range, which is, again, very different. Um, and we've got the classic, which sits in the middle. Mm -hmm. So lot, lots of variety. Like I say, if somebody, somebody wants a grey nickels bat, uh, or two people on a grey nickels bat and they're very different in terms of how they set up, how they play, what they're looking for from a bat, grey nickels are going to have an option for you. Yeah. So that, that's the beauty of it. Um, there is some variance on which bats come in which grades. Oh yeah, so come on, give us a there's bit potential of a there. So if we, quick if we look at the, the sort of main two um, bat families and their sort of standard uh, styles, these come in all the, all the um, grades uh, options yeah um, so that's great you've got a choice a real sort of wide choice factor there from your sort of pro and your players end all the way down to your sort of 200 sort of grade for uh, entry level um, the variation then comes in the in the uh, 1.1 and the 2.1 options they don't come in as many grade options but they come in a version so you've got four or five in there um, including the five star lights so again that gives you that profile and grade option and then the uh, 2.3 and the 1.3 they come in just a couple of grade options again. So we're just scaling back, uh, back a little bit, yep. but again, you've got a couple of options within that. Um, the gem range, we've got three. So yep. three grade options for, for players there, from a players with a top end bat down to a, an entry level bat, so cool. to suit all players. The uh, classic range we've already talked about, that comes in, in everything. So you've got a real sort of spectrum of choice there. And the power spot at the moment comes in two. So oh. some, some small variants, small but bit, not yeah. quite as much as the as others. The others. Yeah. Oh. But lots of choice. Yeah, there is, lots isn't of there? Choice. Um, thanks very much, Owen, at Grey Nichols, for, for sending us all this stuff to have a little uh, look at. We are, of course, going to try them later, but that's another review. It will get you to look out for that one. But first, <laughs> we also, also, we've got a bit of soft stuff. Absolutely. And I think uh, to complement the bats, and obviously we always focus on the bats for, for obvious reasons, yep. but we also stock a comprehensive range of, of gloves. Um, and as you would imagine with brand new bat families, we've got brand new gloves and pads. 
um, to suit, so the Tempesta and Shockwave options in pad and glove to yeah. suit. Um, I think we'd always probably say if you're going to go head to toe or if you're trying to um, shop for a brand new bit of kit, maybe go with the bat first, get that right, and then you can complement that if you want to with the bat family choice within the softs. You don't have to, you know, you can go wherever you want with that, but there are options there to suit. Um, so we've got those in stock, both in the Tempesta, the Shockwave, the Classic range, the Gem range. So there are lots of options there again to cool. suit in, in your softs. Um, bags, helmets, shoes, um, we've got options to, to suit. So if you're a Grey Nichols fan or you want to go into something brand new for the season ahead, um, head on down. We've got plenty of Grey Nichols options yeah. right now. Looks like we have, is not it? Chris, thank you very much no indeed. No my pleasure. For sharing your knowledge with us about, uh, about Grey Nichols. Hope you liked that video. If you did, please give us the old thumbs up. Do make a comment below. We always like to answer your questions if we can. I know Oscar's really keen for you to write as much as you can in that bit. And of course, subscribe to our channel because we're putting more videos out there, just like the one where we review these bats and we give you a bit of a player's feel of, of what they're like. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. See you soon.